Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. <laughs> story time today so I'm just crossing my legs you remember when you used to have to cross your legs on the floor and like the carpet in school like to have the register taken and stuff nothing to do with this video what sorry for rage and maybe just edit it out what I have to edit it out every single time oh, so why not try not raging <laughs> yeah so it's time you to get a drink, get some food, because I don't know how long we're going to be here for. So today in this video, I am addressing my, I'd say, biggest insecurity. And it has been since I was like 10. Obviously when I was 10, I wouldn't have been that bothered because you're younger and you're just not really bothered, are you? But it has been a very big roller coaster for me. I am learning to accept it and think nobody else can notice it but you. It's difficult to try and keep that mindset all the time. So this video I'm going to be telling you about my teeth. It might not be very interesting but I'm sort of doing it for myself just to get it out there, address it so nobody else can mention it and then if anybody else does mention it, it won't bother me might bother me slightly but I can deal with it oh this lighting does not help at all I uh, can't see okay let's do it like this if you can see my right front teeth that one and that one are slightly discolored aren't the same color as my other teeth that is because they are not real let's get into what happened I was 10, I think I was 10, it was 10 or 11, might have been 9, I can't really remember. I'd just finished football training and I had to stay behind with my mum and dad to watch my brother's football training so we could all then leave together and it was about 8 o'clock at night in the winter because it was pitch black and the pitch where he was playing on was obviously floodlit but then the bits of grass behind it weren't and me just being bored wanting to just go and have a race to the other end of the grass my dad's work partner um was running with me so i was just running along like yeah just on a jog and i could see the gate that i needed to get to and i got that close to the gate put my hand out ready to touch the gate to say that i'd won and all of a sudden bang i'm on the floor with bits of grit in my mouth trying to spit it out and i was like what and then i lit i was a bit disorientated i looked up because i was still on the floor and there was you know like you have like a mini goal so the crossbar was lower than a normal goal obviously i had run straight into it and didn't see that it was there and from that day we then realized my eyesight was not brilliant because i couldn't see it obviously it wasn't there was no floodlights on but i could see the gate behind the goal and i couldn't see the goal in front of the gate oh to this day i don't know how i managed it i really don't but i had no damage to my lip no damage to my gum my nose nothing so i literally must have been running like this god knows really don't know so my two front ones i knocked the very front one like a bit more than half like diagonal and then this one i knocked all the way up to the top so all my like nerves were showing and stuff and oh and i walked like this over to my mum like because i've always had a fear of nosebleeds I just thought I was going to get a nosebleed the whole time and I literally just walked over to my mum like this and then I showed her and she was like oh my god bear in mind it was 8 o'clock at night so no dentists were open and this is where I'm very lucky my mum is a dental nurse she went and got the keys to the dental practice and one of the dentists came in very kindly just to cover it up slightly 
to cover the nerves so it wasn't really painful she obviously didn't do a proper big job because it was too late at night and for the entire rest of the night i just sat like this thinking i was gonna get a nosebleed <laughs> my dad was very emotional about it i'd never seen him cry before but he was very emotional tried to blame everybody else but me but it was my fault i shouldn't have gone running when there was no lights on and ever since then i've just had to have so much treatment like root treatment about five times obviously i've had to have them rebuilt like comp is it composite oh i've got no idea i don't know the technical words but it, is slight, it has slightly made me hate the dentist because I used to not mind it that much but my experience at the dentist all the time is drilling and having to have injections to numb my mouth it's just it's not ideal and it's very expensive obviously I was lucky that my dad paid for these proper ones because I had had ones before but they weren't the strongest they weren't the best they would come out every time not every time but they fell out a couple of times when I was eating like Weetabix, just anything simple. They'd just come out and then I'd have to go have it built up again. The root treatment was probably the worst because I had, I got an abscess on my gum, like right at the top, very painful. So I had to have that sorted, but it didn't work the first couple of times. So I had to go back. It, like I said, it's been a roller coaster. And these, the ones that I've got in now, are the most expensive like over two grand i think and they've lasted a long time because i've had braces and stuff on top of these and they've stayed on with that i've got a fixed brace at the top at the back now it's now got to the point where i can tell the length difference because obviously my teeth have grown because they don't stop growing until like you're an adult so they've grown so and but then obviously my fake ones haven't grown with it and colour changes obviously because my real teeth are still underneath but they're dead because because of the root treatment so the discolouring is because of that I think. Obviously I'm very lucky because my mum is in that line of work but it doesn't stop how I see them and how I think other people see them. Because when I was younger before I had them done like this I'd had comments like oh you've got mouldy teeth why your teeth darker it's like you don't want to hear this whole story you really don't that's why i'm doing this because then you'll know what like they're not that they're not like this by choice they're really not um i remember when i was on i was on a plane home from being on holiday with my family and this little kid was sat in front and my mum was talking to his mom and he looked at my teeth, bearing in mind he was like four, he looked at my teeth and he was like, why is your tooth black? And I was like, oh. you know, it's little comments, it's like, Jesus, people do notice. But then if I mention it to people now, they're like, oh my God, I wouldn't have even noticed. But I can. You always notice stuff on yourself more. God, I'm getting a dry mouth. I need to have a drink. It also affected me not wanting to smile. Like, I feel like I laugh strange sometimes because i'm trying to cover it and i'll sometimes put my hand over my mouth when i'm laughing i wouldn't smile in pictures because i hated the look of it i definitely am coming to terms with it a little bit more now but when i watch videos back i that is what i focus on and i don't want to have to focus on it because i can't do anything about it right now like i have looked into having them redone but it's just so complicated they don't want to take my real teeth out because it can because my bone in my gum is strong or in place or something i don't i don't i don't know the technicality of it but they just don't want to disrupt anything that's going on at the minute i wanted to do this video so that i don't have to be paranoid myself anymore i don't have to wonder if people are noticing it because with this video they'll now know why it's like that i know that might seem a little bit sad but to me it isn't because i've had to deal with it since i was 10 and i feel like sometimes if you're open about insecurities it makes them less bad or i don't know how to word it it makes them less noticeable to you you can accept it more than if you just bottle it up all the time 
So yeah, if you've ever knocked your teeth out before, I feel you. It didn't hurt. Like, it was just a bit of like a shock that I'd just fell straight down to the floor because I didn't see this big white goal in front of me. They should have had the floodlights on though, to be fair. They should have. So, blame them. I'm not doing this video to make people scared of the dentist because just a normal checkup is fine, but my experience is more than just normal checkups. Like, I have to have bigger treatments, and that's why I don't enjoy it as much. I definitely think braces changed my smile a lot because it straightened everything up. I do sometimes forget to wear my retainers, but wear your retainers because your teeth move so quickly. So yeah, I think that's all I've got to say on that. Now you know why I'm conscious of my teeth. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you accept some of your insecurities or makes you think about them and ra rationalise them a bit more. So give this video a big thumbs up, comment if you like, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>